You know, I was thinking Maxwell's silver hammer comes down upon our heads, Doug. So, you know, the thing is, is that maybe it's prophetic in the sense of the word that we have to hammer, hammer through truths today that people have got to, and I'm not now I'm not being uh, funny or attempting it. The thing is, is that people need to be hammered until it finally clicks, okay? Until it finally connects. So, uh, you know, uh, bless the Lord for that. Today, as we're talking to you, this is Thursday. I want to cover, if, if you, with your permission, obviously, we've heard the rumors. We've heard that people have been uh, ferried to Guantanamo Bay. Uh, there are actual flight logs that I have been made aware of. I don't know who was on the manifest, because if I did, uh, let's just say this, my life would have a shorter expectancy. So I really don't know. But I do, I can tell you this, Sidney Powell was also there and has deposed Gina Haspel. And it appears that Haspel signed a confession and will testify, but also will have to step down as director of CIA. It's been reported that even some of the most, and I'm calling what they are, evil crats, okay? E-V-I-L-C-R-A-T-S, evil crats, were taken there too, and basically presented with the knowledge that has been provided to Trump's team, Sidney Powell, uh, her other attorney, Mr. Wood. Uh, obviously, there's multiple events taking place. Now, here's what I understand. If you know this, chime in, because I didn't know this. Sidney Powell is authorized to basically testify before a military, military tribunal, even authorized to call a military tribunal. Now, we've also got General Flynn and uh, McHenry or McElhenry talking about uh, the fact that unless the president declares the Insurrection Act, which he has every right to do, and I'd remind people, if we don't have honest elections, we don't have a country anymore. And what's happened is, is that, you know, thank God somebody in the National Security Agency provided enough documentation to uh, make the case. Now, there will be no uh, uh, federal appeal, maybe one out of 10 that will go through. The question is, does it go to SCOTUS? And where is SCOTUS? Supreme Court of the United States. If it goes to SCOTUS with the amount of voluminous evidence, and they, by the way, had to sign for a bundle of documents. The bundle of documents can, was basically composed of, you know, millions of pages of paper, you know, transcripts that were obviously on computers, 35,000 hours, I'm told, of recordings. And every Democrat who had every, and Republican traders who had any type of business dealings with China are there presented and there's a lot of people panicking dc is in a panic mode because again ladies and gentlemen uh president trump is now trying to clean the swamp i think it was a blessing i believe that Sidney powell will go down in history now i'm not embellishing her but it was god himself who raised up queen esther for such a time as this and i believe Sidney powell is raised up for such a time as this she's one i think I think I could be wrong, but 70 cases on appeal before the Supreme Court, 70. She's authorized, as I said, to represent the military. So what I see happening is I see military tribunals on the uh, forefront. I think the traitors are terrified. When I say this, Doug, the numbers that some of the Democrat, highest Democratic uh, leaders have been given by China, both indirectly and directly through, you know, shill companies and everything. One of them, 25 million bucks in one payment, 25 million. So the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, whether the majority of America wants to believe it or not, the treachery, the treason, the betrayal, and the selling out of our country has been going on since the uh, uh, George Bush father days. Uh, I interviewed years ago, Doug, and quite a few years ago, uh, a gentleman by the last name of Cohen, who was the inventor of the neutron bomb. And he had told me on the screen, I think interviewed him a half dozen times, 
that he was present when George Bush Sr. gave to the Chinese government the plans for the neutron bomb. The neutron bomb differs from an atom bomb, either fission or fusion, in that it doesn't blow up and destroy stuff. It only kills human and animal life in extreme neutron bombardment. So uh, when I invent, uh, uh, interviewed Mr. Cohen, I mean, he was almost weeping on the phone. He's, he's dead now, but somebody has those interviews. And what's interesting to me is now we're seeing the fulfillment of all the treachery, treason, betrayal, and follow the money trail coming out in the open. And the last thing I'll say before I turn it over to you, in 2016, Cliff High of the WebBot fame and, and, and the predictive linguistic software talked about that I believe it was over 200 congressmen. Now he thought it was going to happen in 2016. His timing was off, but now I'm told by probably one of the smartest people I know, my friend Aaron, who's read every WebBot report and can recite them almost word for word, no kidding, is he says, Steve, all of his headlines that he said, watch this, watch this, in 2016 are coming to pass. And Doug, he said the most interesting thing is all of the congressmen and senators who are brought to trial. And he said this then too, and they're Chinese connections, and there is a purge of them in the US government because they're basically treacherous.